Hi, hello, welcome to home school. This is your class 7 mathematics NCRT or CBSC board. We are in our chapter 4 simple equations and your exercise 4.1 third problem. Solve the following equations by trial and error method. Already in our introduction part we have seen about what is a trial and error method. It is just a guessing. We try the trials until we get the answer. Look here first problem. 5p plus 2 equal to 17. We need to find the value of p. We start our solution with a given equation. We write again given 5p plus 2 equal to 17. We need to find the value of p. Put p is equal to minus 3. Let's guess any number. Yeah, wish you can guess. Minus 3. Substitute in this. 5. Wherever you have p, substitute this value. 5 into minus 3 plus 2 equal to 17. Plus into minus, minus. 5, 3 is 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. Minus 15 plus 2 will be minus 13 equal to 17. Are these two equal? No, they are not equal. Let's take a trial of another number. Here compare these two minus 13 and 17 having a lot of difference. So we take little higher number. Put p is equal to 0. Substitute in the equation where you have p. Substitute 0. 5 into 0 plus 2 equal to 17. 0 into anything. 0 plus 2 equal to 17. 2 equal to 17. Are these two equal? No, they are not equal. 2 is a positive value and 17 is also positive value. Having little difference, right? Let's take the bigger number. Put P is equal to 2. 5 into 2 plus 2 equal to 17. 5 2 is 10. 10 plus 2 equal to 17. 12 equal to 17. Are these two equal? No, they are not equal but they are little nearer. Take next number such that we may get the answer. Put P is equal to 3. 5 into 3 plus 2 equal to 17. 5 3 is 15 plus 2 equal to 17. 15 plus 2 will be how much? 17 equal to 17. Yes, these two are equal. Therefore, by trial and error method, we get P is equal to 3 is your answer. Okay, go to the next problem. Second problem, 3M minus 14 equal to 4. Observe the variable, what do you have? M. Start the solution. Given equation 3m minus 14 equal to 4. We need to solve this by this method only they have specified. Otherwise you can go with any other methods. Now what shall we take here? Put m is equal to 0 let us take. If we take 0, 3 into 0 minus 14 equal to 4. 0 minus 14 equal to 4. Minus 14 is not equal to 4. Are these two equal? No, they are not equal. They have a lot of difference between those two. So, we take little higher number. Put m is equal to 3. 3 into 3 minus 14 equal to 4. 3, 3 is 9 minus 14 equal to 4. 9 minus 14 will be how much here? Minus 5 is equal to 4. Is minus 5 and 4 nearer? No, it's not nearer. So what we need to do? We take little higher number. Put m is equal to 5. 3 into 5 minus 14 equal to 4. 5, 3 is 15 minus 14 equal to 4. 15 minus 14 will be 1. 
वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू फोर बट वी आर वेरी नियर इट माइट बी द नेक्स्ट नंबर इज योर आंसर सो टेक एम इज इक्वल टू सिक्स पुट एम इज इक्वल टू सिक्स थ्री इंटू सिक्स माइनस फोर्टीन इक्वल टू फोर सिक्स थ्री सा एटीन एटीन माइनस फोर्टीन इक्वल टू फोर एटीन माइनस फोर्टीन विल बी फोर यस दीज टू आर इक्वल दे फोर वॉट इज द वेरिएबल वैल्यू हियर दे फोर एम इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इज योर आंसर बाय ट्रायल एंड एरर मेथड वी गेट्स लाइक दिस सपोज ऑब्जर्व हियर चिल्ड्रेन वी गेट ए ग्रेटर नंबर हियर चूज दिस नंबर लेस Suppose we are getting in a flow minus fourteen, minus five, one. Okay, we are reaching nearer to four. If you feel, go to the positive number. Suppose we are not getting proper answer, then go to the negative values. You may get the answer there also. Try to observe always. Try to compare LHS and RHS. Such a way, you should guess the number. What we should take for the variable. See the fourth main. Write equations for the following statements. Here you can see some statements by saying that we need to write in equation form. First one, the sum of numbers. Sum, sum itself it is a plus sign. Sum of numbers x and four. What are the two numbers? X and four. Is means equal to finished. I repeat, sum of two numbers is nine. X plus four is equal to nine. See the second one. Two subtracted. Two is subtracted. Minus two. From from what? From y. Two is subtracted from y. Is equal to eight. Two is subtracted from y to get eight. Is eight. Third one, ten times a times. If you get a word times, what you should remember? Product. Ten times a. Ten into a. Ten a is equal to seventy. Ten times a is equal to seventy. Fourth one, the number b divided by the number b divided by five. I repeat, the number b is divided by five gives you six. Number b divided by five gives six. This is the way we need to frame the equations. Third one, three fourth. Three fourth means three by four. Three fourth of t of what? Three fourth of what? T. Three t by four is fifteen. Three fourth of t. Three by four into t you can write, or three t by four also you can write. Three t by four is equal to fifteen. Sixth one, seven times. Times means multiplication. Seven times m plus seven gets you seventy-seven. Again, seven times m seven m. Plus seven plus seven gives you seventy seven. Seven m plus seven is equal to seventy seven. Seventh one, one fourth. One fourth means what? One by four. One fourth of a number x. What is that number x? One fourth of x minus four. Gives you four, or thus you may write it as x by four minus four equal to four. I repeat, 
वन फोर्थ ऑफ ए नंबर एक्स माइनस फोर गिवस यू फोर एट वन इफ यू टेक अवे टेक अवे सब्ट्रैक्शन राइट इफ यू टेक अवे सिक्स हाउ मच यू नीड टू टेक अवे सिक्स इज टू बी टेकन अवे माइनस सिक्स यू राइट फर्स्ट फ्रॉम वॉट फ्रॉम सिक्स टाइम्स वाई सिक्स टाइम्स मीन सिक्स इंटू वाई सिक्स वाई माइनस सिक्स यू गेट सिक्सटी यू गेट मीन्स इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सिक्स इज टेकन अवे फ्रॉम सिक्स टाइम्स वाई यू गेट सिक्सटी दैट इज सिक्स वाई माइनस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी लास्ट वन इन दिस मेन If you add three, add three plus three, you remember. Add three to one third of z. One third of z means one by three z. You get thirty. You may rewrite this as z by three plus three equal to thirty. This is the way we need to frame the equations. Understand the statement carefully and try to frame the equation. This is your starting stage of understanding how to write a equation, how we can recognize times more, plus, twice, double. This is all. So you try to practice more and more. Take some example of your own. and try to frame the equations then next exercises will be easy for you thank you children we are going to end our session today in our next session we are going to continue with the next main until that keep watching thank you all